Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get inner strokes and outer strokes on your shape layers. I will also show you how to add an expression, so if you change the stroke width, it will automatically adjust the path to stay either on the outside or the inside where you want it. The first thing I'll do is create a new shape. So I'll come up to the top toolbar. I'm gonna to use the shape tool. You could also use the pen tool, but I'll click on the shape tool and choose rectangle tool. I've got a purple fill color, a navy blue stroke color, and the stroke width is 50 pixels. So I'm just gonna click and draw out this rectangle shape. Now this light blue line that you see all around the rectangle, that's the shape layer path. When you turn on or enable stroke on a shape layer, regardless of which stroke option you choose, the path of the shape by default is always going to be directly in the center of the stroke. And when you change the stroke width, you'll see that the path remains at the center of the stroke. To change the position of the stroke on a shape layer. So if you want the stroke to be on the inside of the path or the outside of the path, go down to the shape layer Click on the little arrow next to the word add and choose offset paths. Once I click this, you'll notice that the path shifted a little bit. And if I twirl open the layer, twirl open offset paths, you'll see the amount is set to 10. So it's 10 pixels offset from the center. So by changing the amount of the offset path, you can control whether the stroke is on the inside of a shape layer path or on the outside. Now the one issue you're gonna run into is every time you change the stroke width, so if you wanna try out a new stroke width, you'll need to also come down to the offset path and adjust it each time you adjust the stroke width. To fix this, we're gonna add a simple expression. So twirl open the shape layer, twirl open contents, twirl open rectangle, and twirl open stroke. Then twirl open offset paths, Press the Option key if you're on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, then click on the stopwatch next to Amount under Offset Paths. Don't type anything in the Expression Editor yet. Just click on the Expression Pick Whip and drag it on to Stroke Width. So now the Offset Path amount is parented to the Stroke Width. So whatever you change the Stroke Width amount to, the Offset Path is going to update to the identical value. When the Stroke Width and the Offset Path amount are identical, there's always gonna be that gap or that offset amount between the stroke and the path. So what we really want is whenever we change the value of the stroke width, we want the offset path amount to be divided in half. So to change the expression, so the offset path amount is always going to be half of whatever the stroke width amount is, all we have to do is just click in the expression I'm gonna tap the right arrow key to bring my cursor to the end of the expression. I'll type in the division symbol, that's right under the question mark, and just tap in the letter two. So we're taking the expression and dividing by two. That's it. I'll click away. The stroke is now on the outside of the path and it is flush. There's no longer that gap or offset amount. If I change the stroke width to 100, we know that half of 100 is 50. As soon as I click away, you'll see the offset path amount is now 50. Change the stroke width, let's say to 50, click away. Now the offset path amount is 25. And if you want to flip, so the stroke is on the inside of the path instead of the outside of the path, all you have to do is change the expression. Instead of dividing by two, divide by minus two. And now you'll see the stroke is on the inside of the path. So when working with shape layers and strokes, if you ever need to change the stroke position to the outside or to the inside of the path, all you have to do is add the offset path. And whatever the stroke width amount is, just enter half of that in the offset path amount. And a little bonus tip, After Effects will do the math for you. So I'll type in 87 divided by two to calculate the half of 87. And now the stroke is on the outside of the path. And to move it to the inside, I'll just put a minus symbol before that value. And now it's on the inside. And that is how to change the position of strokes on shape layers in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers. 